Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Faith, Mini Mimi Thrifter. Um, I'm a reseller mainly on eBay and um, this is what my channel is about. I show you things that I have sold and the things that I am sourcing to try to sell. I try and buy low and sell as high as possible. So today's video is going to be about what sold for me on the weekend. My weekend I consider Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so the 28th, 29th, and 30th. And so that's what this video will be about for you today. And um, I just wanted to say happy Memorial Day to everyone. Happy Memorial Day weekend. And uh, thank you for all those that served and sacrificed. So let's get right to it. All right, today I actually have a Bonanza sale. It's been a long time since I had anything sell on Bonanza. So anyhow, if I get my thing set up correctly, it's this um, Reproduction Roseville vase, five sections there, little flock, fox, fox glove <laughs> flowers there. Um, so uh, like I said, it sold on Bonanza for twenty nine seventy, and the buyers all in at fifty eleven. All right, and now I have, so I have 14, 13 items going out um, that sold over the weekend. Um, the next item is a Hot Wheel, of course, eBay. My husband's collection. Of course, I had to remove it from the card. Um, this is not Real Rider tires, but it, it's hard to see on camera, but it has a, what they call a Spectra Frost, I guess. It's sort of lightly pearlized or something. Anyhow, <laughs> this little loose vehicle sold for $4.75 and the buyer's all in at $9.60. Then, gotta get in shape. <laughs> so these are two Zumba, two Zumba shake weights, a pound each. They sold for $9.76 and the buyers all in at $19.66. And I do not remember. I think I may have paid a dollar or two for these. I keep thinking I found them at like a Goodwill or something. I really cannot remember. It stinks. Of course, for the Hot Wheel, I have nothing into that. The next item is this. And I haven't had this listed very long. You can see it's a rose, but... It's a little trinket box. And it's the sticker on here says remove sticker before use right there at the top. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm thinking this may have been like a, a jewelry box, I mean, a uh, amusement box or something. Um, because I peeled the sticker back and looked and it looks like a little um, microchip type thing in there. But, and so I don't know if the batteries can be replaced or not. I wasn't gonna try and pop this off because it seemed like it was solidly put in there. It may be glued in there, I don't know. I didn't wanna pry it off, I was afraid I'd break it. But I did disclose it in the listing. I just got this at a yard sale for $2, just resin, but it sold for $10 and the buyers all in at $22.81. Next are um, three, these are part of my husband's collection. These are all in the same category uh, series. So these are satin and chrome is the series. These are not real rider tires. See how shiny they are, the tires themselves. Not real rider at all, but they all have the, the gray color and the gold. So I have zero into this item. They sold for $6.35 and the buyer's all in at $11.64. Okay, another Hot Wheel. Zero into this item as well. And it's a Duster Thruster. Is that what it is? Yeah, Duster Thruster. Plymouth. Um, these are real rider tires, but they're actually slicks. Most of the time they are, you can see the tread on them, but this one you cannot. These are just slick real riders. So anyhow, this one was part of the uh, collection of Boulevard Legends. Had to pull it off the card, of course, but this booger sold all by itself, not on a card, sold for $12.74 and the buyer's all in at 19 
Next item is Duck Dynasty. It's just a sun visor. Um, oh, it said something else on there. I guess not. But, I mean, it's got the A and E on there. It is... I don't want to unhook the Velcro. Oh. Told you, Bobby. Pat gal. So, anyhow, this Duck Dynasty visor sold for not $5.94. I grabbed it. Oh, and I mean, finish. Um, $5.94, and the buyers all in at $12.40. I actually grabbed it at, paid 25 cents for it. And so, I was just, I rarely look up hats. And so, I just grabbed a little booger. And um, so, got home and realized, well, I don't sell for hardly anything. So, anyhow. Still, I paid 25 cents for it and it sold for almost six, so that's a pretty good deal. Okay, it just creeps up. <laughs> Alrighty, and the next item, let me pull it out, is this flash pad. I took the batteries out, but it does work. I made sure of that. Um, I got this at a Goodwill. I'm going to say at the most $2. I probably paid a dollar or two for it. It sold for $13.25, and the buyers all in at $25 even. Next item is another Hot Wheels, so zero into this item. It's still on the card. Category is six, since 68. Let me see. I'm trying to get the glare off. There's the Ford Mustang. Oh, move my finger. Mach 1. Um, it doesn't say real rider tires, but I'm pretty sure, let me get my eyes. It's hard to tell. Kind of looks, I have no clue. <laughs> so anyhow, zero into this item. This one sold for $7.99 and the buyer's all in at $14.17. Alrighty, and the next item was actually part of a, it was a set, it was a teapot, and it came in that uh, $200 deal, was it $200? Maybe it was, yeah, a $200 deal um, that I bought from that lady, and it was all glassware of some sort, and um, I'm in the profit completely on that. Anyhow, there was a teapot, and it was really cute, it was Teleflora, and at first I saw a repair a chip repair had been made and then I realized it had a huge crack all and I was like I'm not selling that it was just in bad condition but the lid was still in very good condition and it was just adorable I figured somebody out there had to have dropped their lid maybe the little bird popped off or something and they needed it replaced so I listed just the lid only and the very next day I believe it was it sold so this little booger didn't sell for much because the whole pot itself didn't sell for maybe $10. So, but this lid sold for $5 and the buyer's all in at $13.50. So I figured, you know, that was, that was good that, you know, I didn't just let it go to waste. I hated tossing the pot. Next item are these two vintage, they're aviation books. Let me show you a little better. Um, this one, does it have the year? One is 19, let me move this. One's 1971 and one's 1980. If I could find it. This one's the older one. This is 1971. This is the 1981. And, um, it says Pan American books. Uh, oh yeah, right down there. Pan American. So, um, I got these in a lot. I bought at a thrift store. I think I paid $12 for a huge pile of different types of plain, uh, themed books. Some were about the fabric making, I guess. It was, I don't know exactly. I think I sold that already. Um, I think I only have one little set, and I made sets of them. So I made, I think I have only one set left. They really sold really well for me. Just not quick, but um, they're selling and that's fine. Those two little books right there sold for $8 and the buyer's all in at 
two more little booklets. Okay. These I had sep so <laughs> I'll get there. I had these listed separately. I bought them in the uh, same lot. I bought gobs of craft books from a lady and I paid, I think I paid $10 for it because I had something else and I paid five and it was a total of 15. So I bought a gobs of craft books for um, $10. I'm in the profit. So this is all profit here. The lady bought two of them as long as I combine shipping. Of course I will. And so they are endangered species, cross stitch, endangered species number two. So, um, pretty cool. I love cross stitching, just hadn't done it in many, many years. So these two little booklets sold for $7.98 and the buyers all in at $13.63. Okay, and the next little items are, I thought these were hyenas. They still look like hyenas to me. <laughs> they're just two of the little, uh, I guess they're plastic. And um, they're not exactly the same. One's got his head a little lower than the other. Like I said, I thought these were hyenas. Maybe they're not. When I saw the hump on the back, anywho. <laughs> these two little plastic ard wolves. That's what the lady told me they were called. So anyhow, these two little Ardwolves sold on a, a an offer for $6 and she is all in at 10 10 So that is it for me today. Um, I didn't get a video out Thursday because last Tuesday I had a new roof put on my home. Well, my satellite, of course, is on the roof of my house. They had to remove the satellite. I had no internet and until Friday evening. So my internet provider finally came back out Friday and he was finished up at about 5.45 before I had internet again. It's quite annoying going through my data like crazy, um, you know, my phone data, trying to just keep things listed. It, it, I can list on my phone, but I didn't like it because I like to have several tabs open on my computer to do like the little research while I'm listing. I don't do research before. So as I'm listing, I'm researching and can't do that real well on my phone. <laughs> so, but um, <coughs> sales finally started picking up. They were really slow during the week. Friday, they, they finally started picking up. Uh, <laughs> I guess summer is just slow. Alrighty, so that is it for me today. Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend of sales. I hope you had a great, having a great weekend period. Most people are having long weekends if you are not a full-time seller. Um, but, uh, so everyone consider hitting that thumbs up and especially consider hitting subscribe button because, um, I'm up to 184, I believe. And when I hit 200, I'm gonna have a giveaway. I've got a shirt to give away. I've got some stickers. So, um, everyone be sure to share and subscribe and y'all go out and make yourself proud and have a great day. Bye-bye.